Hey everybody, it's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie, and I wanted to show you my current setup in my recollections personal planner. Now, I actually purchased this planner a few months ago, and believe it or not, I'm one of them crazy planning ladies, and I carried it around and it hardly had anything in it. But I kind of struggled a bit to figure out my groove in this planner but I think I have it now and I wanted to show you all so what I intend to do is do like a different setup um, monthly with this um, so I actually I have this set up for February and it's kind of like the middle of January right now but I finally got everything that I want in here and what I'll do now is kind of duplicate what I have in here for the next month so I'll show you. Now, um, I do have a few planners, so there's not, well, it looks kind of, it does look kind of fat. It looks like there's a lot of stuff in here, but really it's not. These small planners, they just don't hold a lot anyway. But I actually have a bit of a system and it seems complicated at first when you think about it, but it's really not. I do have my, um, I guess people call them Fedoris, but this is a Recollections Travelers book that I have as well. And you can see that one has quite a few notebooks in it. And I use this mostly for list listing and brain releasing. That's what I call it. Some people call it brain dumping, but I call it brain releasing. So, and some habit tracking as well. And then this one is my Erin Condren Vertical Planner. And I just use this for like home management. But this planner here is the one that I'll be taking out with me and I call it my on the go planner and so um, it's all again all a part of my elaborate system that really doesn't take me hardly any time at all to get going for the next day so let's go ahead and open it up and I'm gonna apologize already for the um, focusing I can see this just keeps going in and out but um, and it's probably gonna do it some more because there's lots of shiny stuff in here all right, so when we first go in, the first thing that you'll see is um, the dashboard here on the right-hand side. And here on the left-hand side, I only have a few things. I don't have anything in this pocket right here except for a few um, cards. And I actually cut these the same size as the dividers and the dashboards on this side. And the only thing I did was just kind of stagger them so you can see. It's just two cards they're exactly the same size and I just staggered them together just to kind of give it a little bit of a different look and I just stuck them right in the pocket here and so there's nothing else I don't have any stickers in here just yet I will put a few stickers in here but I don't plan on using too many stickers in this particular setup and then on this side I do have um, some sticky notes so this is um, just some sticky notes in like one of these matchbook type of cases it has 2017 on it but I'll probably cover that up with a sticker as well and again it's just some pastel type of um, sticky notes and I'm just keeping those right back here so if I need them I can have them but I do have sticky notes sprinkled throughout and then I just have some project life cards in here to hold my paper clips that way the paper clips won't mess up the actual um, the actual planner itself so um, February is kind of a love theme, but the whole year for me is a love theme. So I just tried to pick out some paper clips that I made. I made these paper clips. These two paper clips I made from some dollar store stickers. And this one I made from a hair tie. So I got some hair ties from the dollar store and then I just kind of made some paper clips out of them so now let's go over to this side and this is a laminated dashboard and I wanted to kind of have like nothing really here so if I wanted to stick something on here it would be like a true dashboard but right now I'm just gonna leave it with nothing on it and it's pretty thick because it has two sides and this is the other side of what the dashboard looks like so it's basically it's just covering things and then next I have um, this is like a business card holder and I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this so I just kind of stuck some pieces of 
or um, of scrap that I had from the pages that I was using because all of these um, colorful dashboards and dividers were all cut from the same book. So that's kind of the key to kind of making sure that things all match. If you cut them from the same um, book, and I'll show you the book. So here, let me grab it for you. This is it right here. So this is the honeydew, um, the honeydew uh, designs here. And in here, if you just choose like the same, I mean, not the same pattern, but patterns out of one book, then you shouldn't have any issues with things matching. Anyway. So my daughter says I have an eclectic style because she doesn't understand like you guys do. So I didn't know what I was going to do with this part right here. Um, but I just put the little scraps in here. And then next, I didn't put anything on the back. Next, we go into the dividers. And the first section is going to be calendars. And this just says this happens. And I did a bit of layering on this and I laminated as well. And then the tabs themselves, I just cut these from my Cricut. I just, you know, put some letters on the on some um, on some sticker paper and or labels. And then I just adhere those so nothing special about that and then it also has a back as well so it has this nice green back and then just so happens I got these stickies from the dollar store and they are so pretty I probably if I went there again I probably couldn't find them but I always pick up stickies whenever I see them because you know they're only a dollar and so they're really beautiful so I have these stuck without uh, throughout and then this one is a dashboard and it doesn't have anything it's just kind of a cover-up for the first page here and and this is a month at a glance so again this is set up for February so it has just a month at a glance and this was actually a sticky note as well but the sticky note was so like the the sticky part of it was so stuck on that when I took this off, it kind of, I kind of bent it a little bit. So I had to kind of cover things up. So this is kind of a little bit of a hodgepodge of a design, but it still worked out. I like it a lot. So what I decided to do in my calendar part here in this first part is just only have my week on two days and to save myself some time so I won't have to do like a lot of decorating throughout the month I did um, all my weeks for February kind of and I'll show you what I mean so what I did was I actually I actually kind of decorated the pages and I just took like some graph paper and I got this idea from scrap fantastic scrap fantastic I'll have her uh, link down below she has a fantastic YouTube channel and I kind of got the idea from her and when you know I was struggling with like getting inserts and things and I was just like you know what you can just take some graph paper you can just like with some washi tape which I have plenty of it you know kind of divide things up and there you have it you have a week in two days so this part will be kind of like a checklist part and then we'll have Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday so what I intend to do is to make like some labels some date labels and that's it and that will probably be the extent of the decorations for these so let me show you what the other pages look like um, I got this page, which is kind of a little bit wild, which I, could, I guess that could be a wild theme. And then we have this page with some lips on it and some polka dots down the middle. And then we have um, dream page and it has like some gold foiling type of washing. And so I think this is going to work out really well. And then this is the last week in February. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to on this side start with March um, March's theme. So I didn't um, decorate it just yet. So we'll go back and I'll do that. So I think that's going to work. So now I don't have to go back and try to decorate these because it's already decorated. And then what you saw me pull out is a bookmark. And I made this bookmark kind of from scraps again. And I, you know, I'm, I'm not really married to this. I didn't really like it that much. Um, I wanted it to be kind of clear and see through so you can see through it. But it's, I don't know. It came out a little bit busy. I used the same craft paper that I used throughout the planner so it matches. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I might change later. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. I, I'm warming up to it. I'm warming up to it, y'all. So I'm just going to paper clip these back together. 
and then as the weeks go I'll unpaper clip the ones that I need I don't need all right and then we have our next divider here and again I just took a piece of the craft paper and I made this and I did a bit of layering and this is probably the simplest dashboard that I have in here but I still really love it I love all these dashboards and when I made all of these I made them with love so that I will want to use them again so sometime during the year I'll probably use these again for another month and that way I don't have to redo everything all over again that's what it's all about not reinventing the wheel and of course it has a back side and um, I love this foiling that's on the craft paper itself and again I got these stickies from the dollar store as well so I just took a few off and adhered them to this particular um, this particular divider and then next I have another dashboard here and this one is not laminated I just cut it from the craft paper and when you turn this over it just has a project life card with a uh, a post-it note on it as well and this one just pertains to this section only and what I did was I just put some instructions to myself as to how to cut these papers over here so I won't forget because normally I will forget what I did like I'll do things perfectly and then if I try to replicate it again without having write, written it down that just doesn't work for me so this time what I did was I gave myself some explicit instructions on how to cut these so I could do it really quick so what this is on this side is this um, section itself it says G calendar and this is this is my digital calendar section so every day I print my digital calendar out and at the end of or beginning of the week I print the week out so here I have um, just a little a little label I made myself some labels on my Cricut as well which is a great investment and I'll probably cut these up and I'll put these in the front of the planner and I just put the date on here so this um, is the week of the 15th through the 21st that I have here and I made it so that I can fold it out so I can read it because if I tried to make this too small I just wouldn't be able to read it so I made it so I could read it and it has everything for the week but the thing is things change during the week so I also um, print out every day at the end of the day I'll print the next day's um, list from the calendar I'll print the just that day only and I did the same thing I made it so that I could read it and then I you know I just folded it and put like a little label on it so I know at a glance um, what it's for so as the week goes by I don't know how long I'm gonna leave these in they're basically kind of throwaways but I did want to have this with me even though I can access the calendar on my telephone I wanted to be able to access it on paper as well because remember this is the on the go planner so I'll be needing this calendar to just kind of jot things in it if I need to so the only thing I'll put it in here is like appointments um, things that I need to know for on the go basically and the same thing here so this is like I need to know when my meetings and stuff are if I'm you know I'm networking with someone and um, I just need to know it's, it's on the go basically so then next I have store lists because when I'm out I want to be able to um, make sure that I don't forget anything when I go to different stores so I have store lists and I love 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 this divider here is so pretty I didn't know how much I liked like the foiling until I started doing more crafty type of projects but I do so it has a back as well and it has this floral green back on here and then again I put another one of the post-it notes um, that I found from the dollar store and then next I cut out another piece of um, cardstock and I did not laminate this one and then on this side it has some more kind of notes to myself so I have here a key it says to do key but actually it's the key for just this section here and what it is is how to mark when things are complete canceled move started and move to master list and I actually got this from a youtuber named Mo Howard I, you know I love her love love her channel and she does a lot of detail stuff and she's doing a lot of live stuff too so I'll have a link for her channel below as well because that's um, if you're doing any planning and you're doing any crafty type of planning her her channel is a great channel to have and if you have a Cricut she does tutorials 
trails on crickets as well and then here I have um, shopping list tracker and I'm just I just kind of made a list um, kind of doing a little bit of bullet journaling here I made a list of the shops that I'm actually tracking and I need to update this because it doesn't have all the the list on here and then here again it's kind of a note to myself um, so when I'm printing these I know where to go on my computer it tells me where the file is because so I have so many files on my computer I forget where they're at so I said I know where what to do I'll put this in here and then when I need to print a page I know where to go to so I have shops like online shopping so I'm tracking those and you can see I had a few things and I was able to mark them off using my key as complete and then on um, the beauty supply store if I go to Target there's specific things I'm looking for in these stores not to say that I wouldn't find them someplace else but like at Target the hair conditioner that I use I can only get from Target I've only found it there and then we have Michaels we have CVS Staples um, Hobby Lobby, of course, uh, Walmart, uh, Amazon. That's more like a wish list from Amazon. Then I have uh, my grocery list and Amazon. You notice that I actually kind of decorated just a little bit, even though these are kind of throwaway sheets. But I'm, I'm going to keep them until they get full on the front and the back. And these are just kind of some extra sheets here at the back. So as I, um, I'll add stores if needed. So that's going to be very useful. So if I go to Walmart, I can make sure I pull out my Walmart list and uh, make sure I don't forget anything. And then my next section here is another um, divider. And this one is for mom's projects because I have lots of things that I have to do for my mother. So in order to keep up with all the projects, all the honeydew list that she gives me, I'm going to be putting them here. Now, this section is empty right now because I don't have the... Um, how I, the inserts that I'm going to use right now I think I'm just going to put some pieces of graph paper in here and I'm just going to take it from there because you know it's all baby steps here it's all baby steps and then um, I also put some more um, sticky notes here so each section has just a few sticky notes in it so it won't be too fat and then um, I just kind of denoted some things that I'll be putting on to the projects list and then we have this next um, section here in this divider it says be somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody and I think this is my favorite divider out of all of them that I've made and this next section is basically routines because I'm trying to build routines they say you don't really get in the habit of doing things till you do them for 21 days but um, sometimes we kind of let things fall off so just having routines routines uh, written down kind of as a reminder that I should be doing them and then it helps me not to forget things also and then you know once you start doing things over and over again then you kind of remember them so I have lots of new routines right now that I'm doing I've been doing for a few months and then on the back side of the divider again I put um, some more sticky notes here again I got these from the dollar store and then what I did I wanted each routine to have kind of like its own little home or own 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 card so if you looked at you know like this one I had like a few cards on here but for the routines I wanted them to have their own card and that's way I can add to them or take off I just wanted a section that had the routines so um, these are also cardstock that's not laminated and I actually made like a little label at the top and I'm not sure if I'm going to make a label like this is morning routines so I just put morning routines just to make things easier to find um, I haven't done that yet, but I think that I will. So it's a piece of cardstock, and I used some laminated paper, like some I had cut. I laminated these. I had like some pieces left, and I just cut those pieces and it adhered them with washi tape. And then I also have like a project life card up under here. I kind of layered this a bit, and I put the sticky note on top of it. So I really like that effect. And there's nothing on the back of the card, and I chose not to try to, you know, make things all pretty on the back as well because again the more you know cardstock you put in here the fatter this is going to be so this is my morning routines here and then I have my pre-planning routines because there are some things that I do for pre-planning because I record the plan with me's and I want them to be, you know, kind of orderly and organized for other people that watch them. And then we have the evening routine 
here and then I have on daily planning night routine so it sounds like a lot of stuff but it really it's not if things go by really quick and then this one is just a blank one just in case I need to add some stuff in. I actually have another routine that I'm gonna be adding in but it's not gonna fit on one of these cards it's a long routine and so the next section that I have here this is another divider card that I made and I use some layering with some washi tape and a few pieces of scrap and this one is my to do section and so let's turn the page here and you can see it's on the back side it has this lovely floral print on it as well and then i have the sticky note that i got from the dollar store so i have these sprinkled throughout the planner and then i have another dashboard and this one is not laminated and i have some cards on the back of this one also that pertain to this section only so i have daily check and this is what i check at night when I do my planning and it goes really quickly so I check my uh, management planner which is um, from my Erin Condren planner here I check that one and then I check my my Bujo which is my bullet journal which is my travelers here I check the previous week and then also my digital calendar to make sure I have everything on the to-do list that I need and also I have my to-do key here which um, just shows me how to mark things off if they're complete if they've been moved started or they moved to a master list so I just have these all paper clipped I just started doing this so I'll kind of show you this page right here and my, my handwriting is super sloppy but you can see how I kind of mark things off here so this one I moved to the next list and then these were complete and this one was started and you know moved and then canceled and things like that so then I'll just keep these all together and I, actually my current list is not in here um, here it is right here here's my current list and what I do is I just kind of tape this to the front at night so I'm working on this one for today so the only thing I did with these um, you'll see the these today's right here came from the planner when I purchased them but um, I actually just took some notepads and I went through my notepads and I kind of staggered the sheets and I cut the sheets um, I cut them down at the bottom so that they would fit in here and just stuck holes in them um, because I was trying to figure out how am, I, how am I going to make to do sheets I didn't want to really want to buy them and then of course I saw on someone else's channel I don't know who because I watch so much YouTube where people were just cutting off the notepads and I have like tons of notepads so I was like that's just a fantastic idea and a way for me to use what I have because you know I have become a little bit of a hoarder as a planner and I didn't want to be like that but it came out that way and then so that's all that's back here it's just the stagger pages and for February itself I'll probably change some of these kind of wintry um, Christmassy looking papers out and put more um, you know like Valentine-y type of if that's a word Valentine-y Valentine-y type of note note pads back here so you can see this is kind of fat already and I was able to really get this to lay down good so that's nice and then this um, divider itself came with the recollections planner and I just keep it in the back so things don't get caught up it just kind of makes the paper kind of shift a bit better and I also use this as my template for when I'm making holes in the other paper so I just take this out and put it up against the other paper and then I can punch the holes with it because I don't have a hole punch for this I just use let me just show you guys I just used this little bitty punch that I got for like a dollar and 99 cents I have some washi on it I got it for like a dollar and 99 cents at Walmart and it works perfectly so as long as I can use this I'm probably not gonna buy a hole punch for this you guys very simple sometimes you just have to keep things very very simple so that's everything that's inside and the pin that I the pins that I really like using are the um, the um, pilot Frixion pin so I think people call them Frixion Frixion F-R-I-X-I-O-N and I like these because they are erasable so it has like the little eraser on the back it only works on this pen though it's not going to work on pencil you all and I like it because it's also it's like a fine tip pen so I don't know if you guys can see that fine tip pen so I like the fine tip pen and I can erase it as well so right now that's what I'm using 
and um, that is pretty much it when it comes to um, how I have this set up for my on the go planner so if you all enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also um, make sure that you subscribe and for those of you that have have subscribed I just wanted to say thank you as well and leave a comment I would love to know what you think and what's like your favorite on the go planner do you like this type of planner with the rings in it do you like the spiral bound planner or do you like the traveler's type of planner where it has like the bands inside of it I would love to know so that's it for for today I'm just going to say love peace and hair grease from your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie have a fantabulous day and enjoy life